Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So we have our final, I'm sorry for the spoiler, our final match to show you guys from the world finals versus Zeta Division 1. This is a very good team. This team actually knocked us out during MSI. Uh, we lost to them 3-1, so I really wanted to play them. You know, a couple people have heard me saying that I wanted to play them round one. Pretty happy we didn't get them round one, but they're a really good team. I wanted my chance at beating them. Uh, you might notice I'm wearing the same jersey as them. Sight was nice enough to give me his jersey, so we got a Zeta jersey on. But uh, yeah, let's just cut forward into the games. Let's hop straight into it, and let's show you guys what happened. So getting to the draft here, we had a strategy that we really wanted to deploy. So they're really good at Otis. So what our thoughts were was let's first pick Otis. If not, they'll ban it. Um, and then we knew they were going to go Gus. Asia loves Gus. Don't ask me why. I mean, it's a really good brawler, but they really love Gus. So our goal was first pick Otis and then they were going to take Gus, which, you know, isn't really the greatest into tanks and stuff that's like run it down, run at your face. And then... Uh, they'll take a lane. So we were like, okay, we're gonna go Otis They're gonna take Gus something and then we're gonna go Max and Ash um, So you guys know from the first two videos our drafts weren't very good um, And it kind of continues here. So they went crow, which is a good pick It's a little bit of a weird pick. We weren't really expecting it probably should have just stayed with our strategy and went Ash and Max but instead we went Gene, which was a pretty bad pick and then we went Max lane, which I mean I don't know like it just doesn't make any sense. I mean our comp isn't bad like it's a good comp But like they already basically have a better comp and then on top of that They just get to last pick whatever brawler they want into us. So we really messed up this draft uh, I think we if we stuck with the original strategy, you know, even though they got the crow slows and they have Gus I mean eventually you're just gonna run out of slows and stuff and eventually Whatever tank we decided to go will be able to run them down. Do you guys notice they do ban Buster that is a common theme. These guys ban Buster a ton versus us. So let's hop into the game and let's show you guys what happened. So if I'm missing some like slight stuff, we're just trying to make the video not 30 minutes long. Um, so they got Moya Go Goku over there. Moya Goku, sorry, I'm, I'm saying the name wrong. Uh, on Zar's lane. OG's gonna get the lane win over there on site and he's in their spawn. But unfortunately, Crow versus Max just isn't really the greatest lane. Um, I mean, Moya's playing it really well, and it could definitely be played better on our end of myself and Zar, but, like, OG's just in their spawn, he's doing a really good job, but then there's just a crow, like, in our spawn, slowing us, like, we can't get this guy out. Finally, we get the kill, and we get, like, some form of positioning here. Um, Zar's gonna pop his speed, I think it was a little bit preemptive, uh, because we don't really gain too much, and now I got my pull, um, you know, I'm just trying to chill push up a little bit. OG does go down. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to get the kill. And I could have pulled Moya, but then I didn't end up pulling him because he got the shield. And I mean, Zar goes down to site and we're just, I don't know, like we're playing this really bad. Like I haven't even tried pulling someone yet. There's just a crow in our spawn. And I mean, the draft is pretty rough, but the way we're playing it is also just horrible. Um, Moya basically 2v1s us like the entire game. And then, I mean, at this point, it's kind of like, what are we supposed to do? Um, so that's going to be game one. Not a very good game one. Uh, let's hop into game two. Maybe we do a little bit better. Maybe we don't. Uh, let's see, and uh, hopefully we win. So going into the game two, it's kind of the same thing. So Zara pushes up one side, but then Sight pushes up the right. Um, and they get a pretty early gem lead. Now, at least we do have some positioning on Zar's side, and he's doing better versus the Crow. But again, like, the Crow hits him twice, and all of a sudden, he's, like, got no... He doesn't really do any damage because the Crow poison. Uh, it's just kind of hard for him to do anything, as you guys can see. Like, he's got to hit a lot of clips, and Moya just, like, auto-aims or shoots him once or twice, and he's basically dead. Good pinch over there. We're able to get him out. And so, at this point, the game's kind of winnable for us. Um, we got pretty good, you know, just location on the map. But then there's a Crow jump. Uh, Sight starts flying, and I mean, right here, like, Sight's just being such a nuisance. He puts his super down, he's gonna be able to get the kill, and I think maybe we should have backed up and, like, had more people shoot Sight but me. Um, but he's gonna take the gems and barely, barely, barely make it out. I don't know how he did it. Uh, that's just Sight being Sight. But I didn't even attempt to pull in this set. I mean, just a really bad draft. We played it pretty bad, and I mean... 
that's set one. It is what it is. It's the stuff that's going to happen when you play Zeta. They're a really good team, and they if they draft better than you, you're not beating them. So let's move on to set number two, and let's keep it going. So moving on to the next set, uh, it's going to be Safe Zone, which is one of our favorite maps. The bans were really weird. So we banned Carl because they love going Carl's six pick, Ruffs, and Bell because we didn't really want our first pick Ruffs because you kind of have to go some like control comp and just outplay mechanically the entire game and we weren't you know like i don't think that's just the best idea to do into zeta and then we banned bell because they're really comfortable with bell so they banned brock which we would have liked to first pick colette which we would have liked to first pick in the dog so the best available brawler was either griff or 8-bit we elected to go with griff i'm not sure if they would have 8-bit because their play style isn't really like they don't really play brawlers like 8-bit but they got two really solid lanes there um so at this point we need two lanes we're kind of trying to decide what our options are we can go Penny, we can go, you know, Cole, we can go Rico, we can go Otis, we can go Squeak. Um, but this does look like a pretty good Penny game, to be honest. So we are pretty fixated on Penny, especially since Zar really enjoys playing Penny. Uh, so we take it with the next pick. And then, let me just skip forward 30 seconds. So we go Penny, and then we end up taking Otis. So I think the Penny pick was fine. I think what we should have done, though, is gone Squeak instead of Otis because you guys are going to see it's just going to be kind of like a stalemate like we're all just poking no one's really moving up doing anything but if we had a squeak it would have been a lot easier to poke it's definitely uh the best pick there and they're actually i think going to take yeah they do take squeak um so they end up getting the better like poke brawler to say so i'm not you know like totally against our comp but again i feel like we kind of outdrafted ourselves going first 8-bit and then not taking squeak with it it is what it is we we this this is actually surprisingly a pretty close set but it was pretty boring so you guys can see we are a full minute into the game and there's been no damage so you know i didn't want to bore you guys but essentially all i've been doing is standing on this you know left side and shooting kenji for a minute straight and he doesn't do any damage i don't do any damage or move up the map they elect to switch lanes here because we have our damage turret out um and honestly at this point i think we're doing kind of good i mean we're down two percent but we got the 8-bit turret down we have another 8-bit turret all three of us have supers we just somehow gotta find a way to get a kill and the issue is we're really not getting a kill at all um so og's trying to move up here we're all trying to move up czar is gonna throw his turret forward but i think he just kind of wastes his turret there and then og's also gonna throw his turret forward but again kind of the same thing like we kind of just waste both of our turrets um and then we're left with nothing but i see why they try to do that because for a whole minute i mean it's been almost two minutes now we've just been sitting in our spawn kind of doing nothing i think we just could have done it a little bit better with a little bit more team synergy and we probably would have been able to get something out of it so i going to get another turret over there after like four tapping or three tapping kenji so this is kind of our chance to push up here Except the issue is Sight is just shooting this choke point. Moya is also shooting the choke point. So there isn't too much we can do. Um, you know, we're trying our best over here. But it's just, it's hard to get through this. And the squeak, as I said, it's just, it's good at poking. Like, it doesn't need to do anything. It just pokes so well. And I think if we, if they didn't have squeak, the penny lane would have actually been really good. But unfortunately, they did have squeak. So they won like 100 to 90, you know. A pretty boring game right there so move forward into the second game all right i skipped ahead a little bit too much but we'll show you guys what happens so in the second game they get a really early lead and it's kind of like breaking down here for us we're able to get a kill on kenji and i believe the lola as well and then og gets on safe and actually does a lot of damage and so does czar so at this point we're actually winning the game by two percent uh we're trying to hold it down you know czar's still respawning so i'm just going to gadget that mid to not let moya walk through the mid and again we're just like kind of wasting the turrets and stuff it, they're really important we get the mute on moya but it doesn't actually do anything site gets a super on safe so they get a two percent lead um but i mean it's de it's definitely still winnable for us uh we're able to get the kill on kenji czar's holding it down in the mid so 40 seconds they're up what two percent so we just got to get some positioning we got to get you know turrets down whatever it may be and uh just try and get some damage because as you guys saw og got on safe one time and he does 50 percent um i think czar thought he was the other penny gadget because he just threw his turret at sight 
and obviously it didn't do anything and we kind of wasted a turret because we had one in the back and then now we don't have one at all uh i try and make a play here but we go down probably rush it a little bit um, and then OG goes for a fat clip over there trying to win the game by you know getting a nice clip and getting another kill or something Definitely a good attempt and probably the only thing we could have done, but I don't know again We we played this set pretty bad uh, could have played it a lot better, but we also could have drafted better So I mean it is what it is down to nothing, but you know what we were down to nothing last time So I mean I Frank why are you clapping for the other team? Come on Frank, but yeah, it's winnable You know like I, as we know, you know sites like oh, yeah, like we're clapping these guys no, kidding. Uh, But yeah, let's move forward Let's go on to the third set and show you guys what happens. So going into this draft you guys have seen this before I might be too late. We've banned triple thrower Because uh, we just don't like throwers and we go bow penny and piper so uh, this is something we've been doing in NA for a little bit, probably like two, three months now, where if we have the first pick, we just ban all the throwers and then take something like bow or gene or whatever it may be. We're pretty comfortable with bow, so we go we, we go bow a good amount. And the reason we do this is it just makes it kind of hard for them to take out the turret. So they do go squeak, and I'm going to be fast forwarding a little bit because this is a little bit of a snooze fest, kind of just shooting the same tiles, the same area for however long. But yeah, so we're trying to get some ground here. They're trying to get some ground. Kenji literally just shoots this, like, grass, like, pieces of grass, like, basically right there over and over for, like, the entire knockout set. It was pretty annoying, I'm not going to lie. Uh, but yeah, Chazar is trying to make a play. Unfortunately, he goes down. Then myself and OG just aren't in a position at all to win this. So I just walk into the smoke. Nice little loss right there. And I think we go and just try and get Zara turret. So he does get his turret over here. Um, and at this point, you know, it does look a little bit better for us because once we get Zara's turret down It starts to push them back and applies real pressure I'm also gonna break the walls to try and you know, just open it up a little bit for myself and OG And so here we're actually in a way better position So I think what we should have done a lot better here is not just let Kenji walk up and take that turret out because the turret Is really important for us winning the game if there's just a turret constantly shooting them you know, once every five shots, maybe doing damage or at least just forcing them to walk aside. It helps us out a lot. But unfortunately, we kind of just let Ken take that out. And a penny, just being a penny on this map, isn't really that good. It's only really good when you have the turret down. Um, so a lot of stalemate, as you guys can see. These guys are really good when it comes to just knowing their distance and all that. We almost get Moya there, but he survives at 540. Uh, but yeah, these guys are just really good at knowing their distance, knowing how far to stay. Kenji is going to put down that slow. And OG does kill Sight, but he trades off, so I don't know, kind of a trade, whatever it may be. And then, I don't know, just they're just better. I don't, I don't really know what to say. We just didn't really play that right at all. It's weird. It's like you watch this and you think to yourself, man, we could play this a lot better or we could do this better. or we could. But it, you say that every team says, says that every time they play Zeta. So, like, you got to tip your cap. Like, they're a very good team. Um, they're really difficult to beat. Um, and yeah, I don't know, but, but, you guys remember last time we were down 2-0, 1-0 in knockout versus TQ. So anything's possible. Anything's possible. So we actually start off this round pretty good. We get them pretty backed up, hitting a good amount of shots here. And, uh, I'm just going to go up and break the wall. Maybe not. I thought I did. We're trying to get Zara's turret pretty badly, so I'm just kind of chilling, trying to not let them take out the turret. Uh, unfortunately, or I mean the totem. Unfortunately, they are able to take it out. Sight's going to go pretty aggressive here. We do catch Kenji Lacken, so we're able to get one kill at the start. So it's kind of like, okay, this is winnable. We also, myself and Zara both hit Sight, so Sight goes to one. We kill Sight, and then bam, 3v1. We can't lose this, right? So I open the walls. You know, we get nice and comfortable, and we actually switch sides this time. So we're like, all right, that's all it was. It was just side diff. So we're going to go back to the other side uh, that we went to this time, I think. And we're going to run it back, and we're going to try again, and we're going to see if we can win. Uh, so we go there. I have one curve left, and with the distance that they play, the curves are really important. Because it's hard to two-tap someone when... If, if Piper has 11 tiles, they're always like 11.5 or 11.3 tiles away. You get them catch it, you catch them lacking one time, but then you can't hit them again because they're so far from you. So here I was kind of isolated with Moya, so I was trying to get a two tap on Moya over here. 
Um, unfortunately, though, he's playing the walls really well. He's just playing the distance in the wall really well. It would be pretty difficult to two-tap him. I try. I think I hit the first shot, so I go for the curve. I don't get the kill. And now Sight's going super aggro here, so we got to try and get a kill on Sight. Uh, we each hit one shot, but unfortunately, he barely lives. But look, we got mines down, we got the turret down, and there's like no way they're taking out this turret. So we got a pretty good position here uh, to kind of make a play to win this round, whatever it may be. So we get Moya low, he's one shot, Zara's able to take him out. Um, and then Kenji gets low, Sight gets low, Sight goes down, Kenji goes down, and then bam, we win one. We got around. I think that was the first thing we won, if I remember correctly. Like, the first game we won. We, we literally almost got 6 out, which would, which would be pretty embarrassing. But we did win one. Um, and so, yeah, we thought that would be pretty predictable if we go that side again. The side that we went when we won two. Sight's clearly going that side uh, to try and prank us. So, we were like, alright, we're not going to do that. Fortunately, though, Zar kind of pranks himself. And he goes down. Pretty early. I have my ga I don't even know why I have my gadget popped, but I have it popped. I'm kind of waiting for OG to hit someone and I can curve them at the same time. And I went for a wild curve there, and it actually almost hit. That would have been like some banana type of curve, but um, wasn't able to hit. And missing that curve, I don't think it was ever supposed to hit, but missing that curve kind of lost the round for us. Um, because if it's a 3v2 and it's looking like this, I don't know how we're winning this if I'm being honest. Um, so, you know, we're trying our best. Uh, we're also trying not to feed supers. I go to the bottom so I can try and catch someone lacking. You guys can see, when I'm not shooting, they're not, like, overextending or anything. They're just chilling. They're trying to do their thing. OG is trying to make a play. He's, like, literally getting 3v1 over there. That would have hit sight, but he's got this really good reaction where he just puts down his little Janet totem thing and he body blocks it. And so here we go. They're on match point round whatever you want to call it we put the turret in the back for czar because we really need czar to get this turret he finally gets it throws it down and so here we go we're on our good side again um even though it's kind of the bad side for whatever reason it's a good side for us in this match we got the turret down we're trying to get some totems and now we're just chilling we're trying to play side v side kenji's in a position where he can't really take out the turret so we're kind of chilling we're doing our thing the most important thing here is just don't let Kenji take out the turret. Just let the turret chip. Look how they're all kind of being forced into a corner. That's just kind of what we want. And then we can hit some Piper shots, some bow shots. Maybe the mines get a kill, something like that. Um, that is more or less the goal here. Um, so you guys can see, you know, the mines, the turrets, they're doing a lot of work. I don't like we hit like one shot there and they're both half HP. So things are looking good. OG's hitting good amount of shots. We hit Moya there. Probably could have curved them, but for whatever reason, I didn't. Kenji's able to slow Zar. The turret's doing mad work. The turret's doing really good. We get Moya to one. I believe OG gets the kill over there. He does. Uh, and this was pretty wild. I don't really know how that happened, but uh, that was pretty wild. I, you know, I just saw in our reactions on the bottom right that Zar tried to give me, you know, kill props. And I ignored it. So my bad, Zar. My bad. We almost get snuck on there by sight. Like half a second more, even less, sight gets that kill if I don't shoot. Uh, or if whoever doesn't shoot and we find him. OG's doing, honestly, like, I didn't even realize OG's doing a pretty good job holding it down his bow, uh, in this set. Mine should probably be placed up a little bit higher, uh, but he's been holding it down really well. So Kenji is gonna come down over here. He's gonna try and kill the turret. He does take it out. And so, I mean, if the mines were a little bit higher, they wouldn't really be able to push into us. And then if we had a turret, it would also be a lot easier. Uh, but we do not right now. So we're kind of just playing side v side you know i don't have any curves og doesn't have any gadgets squeak doesn't have any gadgets jen doesn't have any gadgets so it's kind of just a straight up game here only moya and czar have gadgets Moya's doing a really good job so is sight uh we try and get the kill on him unfortunately though he does not go down good shot there from czar though he's doing really good uh we're able to hit moya and they're like kind of bullying czar right now sight flies able to hit a couple shots between myself and og og at this moment he's like jump 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 because he knows I don't jump. Everyone who watches me or watches us play comp, they know I don't jump for whatever reason. I just got an issue with jumping. So I, you could literally see him scream and jump. Uh, but yeah, there's our set. I mean, don't call it a comeback, but there's our set. It's getting us warmed up. You know, we drink in the water. Swords feeling good. Uh, so top into the next game and show you guys what happened.
So we got Dueling Beetles, which is a map we're really comfortable with. This is probably the hardest we sold the draft the entire time. So the bands are Buster, Sprout, Brock. Good bands by them. The, the bands for us are Otis. What is it? Otis. I think we banned... Yeah, Otis, Gus, and Janet. If we went Griff and Meg, which was our plan, I, I don't know what's wrong with us. If we go Griff and Meg, I don't know how they beat us. Like, I really sat down and I thought about it for a long time and I asked other people who are, you know, good at drafting and play comp or out worlds, you know, if we go Griff and Meg, how do they beat us? And no one could think of a, of a way that they can beat us because even if they do counter the Meg as hard as they can, like we just, we just counter with the last pick. And so that, I don't know what's wrong with us. Even the last draft, I mean, I don't even think it was that good. I think it was kind of like a 50-50 and we got lucky with a couple end of game plays. But this one, this was bad. This was bad. We definitely could have outdrafted drafted them a lot going griff and meg we like definitely and that's just an obvious one like the squeak on safe zone that's a little bit different you know that's something we don't really play that normally you think back and you're like yeah that would have been a good pick i mean i don't know why we didn't go meg griff here we end up with the carl so i'm not even complaining about our comp too much i think it's a pretty good comp um i like their comp more but our comp is like you can definitely win with our comp it's kind of just who holds control who can, you know, get first position, stuff like that. And yeah, so we got Zara on the Carl. Zara's a pretty good Carl. OG on the Griff, me on the Squeak. I'm not really used to playing Squeak, but I mean, it's Squeak. It's not a hard problem. Um, so we open one side. We like to open one side kind of always because it just gives you more room to juke. Uh, Kenji is going to move forward because he saw that I had the gadget, but that isn't really too much of a problem. He's going to go down there. And uh, Zara's gonna make Moya Goku. Moya Ga uh, I'm sorry. I think it's Moya Goku. That's how you pronounce it. Uh, I don't think there's an A. Moya Ga Yeah, it's definitely Moya Goku. But, anyways! Anyways, we're holding it down. We're doing a good job. We put a slow on Moya's lane. See, I think this is kind of the issue. I think what we're supposed to do is just slow Moya's lane and then not run him down and feed him mechs because what we could have done there even though Zar got the kill and it was a good kill i think we could have just like juked for a little bit and just not fed him any shots and then once the slow was gone and we got some zone time then go forward and do that because every time he gets a mech no matter you know what we do what supers we have they're gonna get control because they have a mech uh regardless though i think Zar played really well especially the set this uh, if, if you guys remember the safe zone Carl set, you played that really well. This is probably like his other best set. Um, I think just a little bit too much aggression, a little bit too much feeding supers was kind of our downfall um, in these games. But we're doing pretty good here. I I don't know if Zara is it. No, he doesn't have a gadget left. They got the mech, so it's pretty challenging. We're going to get the double hit on site right there, so we're going to be able to take him down. And we got lucky that we took him down. And then he also wasted a gadget. So because he wasted a gadget... Uh, I'm just gonna chuck one in the mid right there Kind of waste some time not let him go through uh, He's gonna pop his last one, but really good play over there by OG and Zar comboing We're gonna get Moya low. We're gonna toss the super out and this is so ironic This is so ironic because literally like two days before or one day before this Moya was practicing how to juke squeak supers and apparently he didn't know how and like we were showing him how to juke squeak supers and then it like comes full circle and all of a sudden we're in this really important match well i don't know about teach him but like showed him he, he's very good he definitely knows how to juke a squeak super but he was practicing we were like showing him our strategies and stuff like that for how to juke it and showing him, you know we stand here we do this especially fade so i blame fade to be honest but yeah so we win that game uh we're kind of feeling ourselves we're like all right this is winnable this is pretty good and then i miss three shots sight runs in a straight line we get them low, but once they get that mech, it's, like I said, it's just like, it's so much HP. I don't know why we didn't take this brawler. We knew this brawler was broken. We knew we wanted Griff Meg. It's just pain. Just pain. Um, but yeah, we're going to be able to hit a squeak super. Not that it's really going to do anything. Uh, Moya is just going to get like, this is just, if they win the first interaction, it ain't happening. We ain't winning. Um, good kill there by Zar. Whatever. Whatever, guys. We might be losing 66 nothing. I mean, whatever. Whatever. Close enough. Uh, so, yeah. Anyways, you guys see the score. It's not, you know, the nicest score in the world. OG's gonna, I think, walk into the zone. So, we got 1%. All right. We got, we got our 1%. Uh, but, yeah. So, we're gonna lose 100 to 1. 
you know, not the coolest thing in the world, but it is what it is. So here we go. We got, you know, one more shot back to match point again. Uh, we're like, we got this, guys. We got this. Don't worry about it. We can win this. And so we load into the game, and, you know, we're, we're I don't know. Our, our number one goal here is don't feed Moya super. That's our goal. You know, I say that as we feed him super in four seconds, maybe. I don't know. It was pretty impressive. But anyways, they have a really good start. As I told you guys, I don't know how we're winning this with a bad start. We do get a really nice super there, though, which allows Zar to also get a really nice super. So now we got control. So we're like, okay. We got this. We have control. That's all we needed. So we're slow in the mid. I still got my slows. So it's winnable. Zar bounces there. Uh, he gets some damage. Sight uses his heal. And then Zar backs off. Perfect play by Zar. Like, literally perfect. That was a very good play. Um, I try and slow the mid. Sight gets ahead of it. That's a really important slow. Every slow is really important because of the comp they have. We have to, like, get really good value out of all of our brawlers and all of our, you know, gadgets, supers, whatever it may be. Uh, we're going to hit Moya there, but, you know, well-timed to where the slow doesn't really affect him. I uh, get the kill on Ken, and, I mean, the game is close, but we're running out of utility, man. We got no gadgets left. We got no supers at the moment. Uh, and this mech is just so annoying. And then the penny and everything. Um, I don't know if we get the kill there. Okay, we do get the kill there. Uh, Zar kind of wastes super. I kind of waste super, but we're holding it down. We are holding it down. One shot. He puts down a new penny turret, so I can't take out the old one. At this point, I'm like, let me get Moya. Let me get Moya. Because I can get Moya without feeding him super. So I'm just standing here. The team is holding it down. Unfortunately, Zar gives Moya super there. But, I mean, you know, not too much you can do. He's trying to be aggro. And again, we take out Moya really easily. So I'm like, you know, just let me get Moya. I'm shooting through here. Uh, it's close. It is close, to be honest. Moya doesn't have a single charge to super or whatever. He is so far away. He hits me twice, but unfortunately, like, I don't know. They get a Poco super. They're so close to being dead. They are this low while getting a Poco super. So if they just don't get that Poco super, I think we fed a couple extra shots. I think we take that set. Go to set five, but unfortunately, we lose by 15%. And, I mean, it is what it is. Another loss to Zeta, 3-1. Same as MSI. Um, so, it felt pretty bad. Uh, I went back, you know, threw my water bottle against the wall. Really nice guys, by the way. All three people on this team. Uh, really nice guys. Kenji's bowing. Uh, very, very nice guy. You know, I, I did a little bow back. You know, they're, they're really funny, really awesome, and really good at the game. So, I mean, GG's to them all around. Sucks for us that we lost to the same team by the same score as we did in the other international event. Uh, but we're really proud of the fight that we uh, that we gave. Um, it is what it is. It sucks. Again, the draft has to be better. But we're not going to complain too much. We're going to keep our head held high. I mean, top you know three, four in both international events is something to be pretty proud of. Only losing to Zeta in both. So. That is going to be it for the World Finals videos. If you guys enjoyed them, you know, they don't happen too often. So, I mean, I'm, you know, I'm glad you guys can get some enjoyment out of it. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting surgery on my wisdom teeth, all four. So I'm not going to be making a video for the next couple days. Uh, that's going to be it for me for, you know, maybe two, three, four days, whatever it may be. So see you guys on the other side of that little break. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best, the most handsome, the most loved player on your team, and support your favorite creator at the same time? Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.